In the world of science fiction, we often encounter futuristic, highly advanced aircraft with unparalleled stealth, speed, and maneuverability, leaving viewers in awe. These fictional jets designed to push the boundaries of imagination seem too good to be true. However, in the real world, one such aircraft, the YF-23 Black Widow II, came astonishingly close to matching these futuristic ideals. Despite its advanced features, incredible performance, and groundbreaking technology, the YF-23 never became the next top fighter jet for the United States Air Force. In this article, we'll take a deep dive into the story of the YF-23, exploring its conception, design, the intense competition it faced, and its lasting impact on the aviation industry. The origins of the YF-23. To understand why the YF-23 was so special, we must first travel back to the 1980s. This was a time when the Cold War was at its peak, and the United States found itself in a relentless race to maintain air superiority. The U.S. Air Force was keenly aware of the need for a new generation of fighter jets, capable of outmaneuvering and outpacing adversaries while remaining nearly undetectable. This led to the inception of the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program, which aimed to develop a cutting-edge fighter jet to replace the aging fleet of F-15 Eagles and F-16 Fighting Falcons. The ATF program required that the new jet possess advanced stealth features, the ability to achieve super cruise, sustain supersonic flight without afterburners, and exceptional maneuverability. Two aerospace giants, Northrop and Lockheed, answered the call, offering up their prototypes, the YF-23 Black Widow, II and the YF-22, which would go on to become the iconic F-22 Raptor. The competition between these two aircraft was fierce, with both manufacturers pushing the boundaries of technology to meet the demanding specifications set by the Air Force. The features of the YF-23. Northrop's YF-23 was a technological marvel with a sleek and distinctive diamond-shaped wing design that immediately set it apart from the competition. This innovative configuration, combined with its blended body, was carefully engineered to minimize radar detection, giving the YF-23 a radar cross-section nearly invisible to enemy radar systems. The aircraft's aerodynamic design was revolutionary, allowing it to achieve remarkable speeds and agility while maintaining stealth. One of the most impressive features of the YF-23 was its use of advanced composite materials. These materials, which were lighter and more durable than traditional ones, played a significant role in reducing the aircraft's weight while also absorbing radar waves, further enhancing its stealth capabilities. The YF-23 was powered by two Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines, capable of producing thrust vectoring. This feature provided the aircraft with superior speed and agility, enabling it to perform exceptional high-speed maneuvers while maintaining low visibility. The YF-23 was designed with super cruise capabilities, which meant it could sustain supersonic speeds without engaging its afterburners. This was a major advantage in combat situations, as it allowed the aircraft to fly at high speeds for extended periods, while conserving fuel and maintaining stealth. The aircraft's top speed was estimated to be around Mach 2.6, which was slightly faster than the F-22's top speed of Mach 2.2. Additionally, the YF-23 had an impressive combat range of 4,800 kilometers, which exceeded that of the F-22, which had a range of 3,200 kilometers. The competition, as the YF-23 and the YF-22 took to the skies, the competition between Northrop and Lockheed intensified. Both prototypes underwent rigorous testing to assess their performance in various combat scenarios. The YF-23 excelled in stealth and speed but the F-22, with its more conventional design, offered greater versatility, maneuverability, and lower operational costs. The YF-23's design focused heavily on stealth, but its complexity and the higher costs associated with its advanced systems raised concerns within the Air Force. The F-22, in contrast, employed proven technologies and a more traditional design, which made it a safer and more cost-effective option. The F-22's thrust vectoring nozzles and advanced avionics gave it a slight edge in agility, which was crucial for air combat, particularly in dogfights. Although the YF-23 performed well in several key areas, its higher complexity and the risks associated with integrating its advanced systems 
led the Air Force to lean toward the more conventional F-22. One of the challenges faced by the YF-23 was its relatively higher operational costs. The Air Force needed a jet that not only performed well in combat, but also proved to be sustainable in the long term. The testing phase and technical challenges. During the testing phase, the YF-23 faced some critical technical challenges that affected its chances of being selected. For instance, during one test flight on October 30th, 1990, test pilot Bill Lowe experienced a dangerous situation when the outer layer of the YF-23's windscreen shattered at Mach 1.5. Thankfully, the polycarbonate layer beneath the windscreen remained intact, allowing the aircraft to return safely. However, this issue was not isolated. A similar failure occurred with the YF-23 prototype known as Spider. These windscreen failures were concerning, as any breach in the aircraft's stealth features could compromise its radar signature. Additionally, the YF-23 suffered from mechanical problems during its testing, including engine malfunctions and fuel system issues. These problems were addressed with maintenance efforts, but they highlighted the inherent risks associated with the YF-23's more radical design compared to the F-22, which had fewer technical challenges. Despite these setbacks, the YF-23 was lauded for its performance in high angle of attack AOA scenarios. Test pilot Paul Metz, who flew both the YF-23 and the F-22, noted that the YF-23 demonstrated superior performance in high AOA conditions potentially outclassing the F-22 in certain high-G maneuvers. However, the F-22's thrust vectoring technology gave it an edge in terms of overall agility and maneuverability. The final decision, as the ATF program neared its conclusion, the Air Force had to choose between the YF-23 and the F-22. After extensive testing and evaluation, the decision was made to select the F-22 Raptor as the next generation air superiority fighter. The F-22's combination of proven technologies, lower operational costs, and reliability gave it a decisive advantage over the YF-23. While the YF-23 was undeniably advanced, the F-22's more conventional design and operational readiness made it a safer choice for the future of air combat. In April 1991, the YF-23 program was officially canceled, and Lockheed was awarded the contract to produce the F-22 Raptor. The YF-23 prototypes were retired and eventually placed in museums, where they continue to serve as symbols of what could have been. The enduring legacy of the YF-23, though it never saw active service, the YF-23 has had a lasting impact on the aviation industry. Its cutting-edge stealth technology and innovative aerodynamic features have influenced the design of future fighter aircraft. The YF-23's radar-absorbing materials and nearly invisible radar cross-section set new standards in stealth technology, contributing to the evolution of next-generation aircraft. Today, the YF-23 remains a legendary figure in aviation history, sparking debate among aviation enthusiasts and experts. The prototypes, Grey Ghost and Spider, are preserved in museums, allowing the public to glimpse what might have been. While the F-22 Raptor may have ultimately prevailed, the YF-23's unique design and potential have ensured its place in history. Conclusion, the YF-23 Black Widow. Two is a remarkable example of innovation and ambition in the world of military aviation. Its groundbreaking design and stealth capabilities pushed the boundaries of what was possible at the time, making it one of the most fascinating what-if aircraft in history. Although it was not selected as the U.S. Air Force's next top fighter, the YF-23 left an indelible mark on the industry, influencing future aircraft designs and the evolution of stealth technology. The YF-23's story is not just about what could have been, but about how its advancements shaped the future of aviation. Its legacy endures not only as a technical marvel, but as a testament to the constant drive for technological progress. The aircraft may have been left on the tarmac, but its impact on aviation history will never fade.